So when it comes to how to use these, you always want to push back the cuticles first because you're scraping it off the nail bed. Since it's really sticky, it grows out. Try to get a good pusher. This one comes to like a point. Oh my god, my nails are so dirty. I just noticed that. And honestly, that is good enough. The proper way to hold your nippers is this way. So in your palm. And whether you want to use the spring is up to you. But you can pull that up. So what that's going to do is going to keep them open for you. So that you have to push down on them. I prefer using it without because you can cut someone if you don't have good control and they're too wide. But it's all a preference thing, so hold it in your hand and just see what's easier for you to control. And also it helps if you put like oil in here, it, it's gonna keep them really smooth if they start to feel like, you know, they need some oil to help them glide, you know? So I always start, you can start from the edge right here, and you're gonna wanna follow a line. It's gonna be best if you remove it in one segment. I kind of lost mine there, but definitely wanna try to keep it one piece because that's gonna look the cleanest. And don't worry about anything left on there because if when you go in to buff the nail out, you can always tuck in the sanding band or use a needle bit to get the rest, but that should be good. I'm going to show you again. You're just scraping skin. Like it just comes out of nowhere. You see that? Because it's so sticky. As your nail grows out, it stretches out. So you don't have to actually push back the living skin, the epinichium, you just push back whatever is stretched out onto the nail plate. And try to pay attention at the level I'm holding this. I'm not holding this down like that. You're kind of holding it flat to the nail. Typically you want to do all five and then, you know, go in with the nippers, but just for the purpose of educating you guys, I'm doing it, you know, one finger at a time. So, that skin almost appears yellow compared to the living skin, which is pink, especially because I'm stretching it back, making the blood, you know, come up and he's white so you can see it on darker people it'll be almost like a gray color but yeah on the lighter folks it's definitely yellow and honestly you can do this wet it's gonna help with this you know rough look that's how most people do it but when you're done with the manicure you're gonna want to put oil on it and that's gonna make all of that go away. And it's very important for your client to be reminded that in order for their nails to look like that, they have to keep putting cuticle oil. So if you want to make sure they go home with some, go ahead and do that. It'll keep their nails looking like they just came to your salon. I'm like not doing a good job of getting it in one segment. So I'm gonna really focus on this one. Try to get it in one beautiful piece. Oh, and friendly reminder, you're not gonna have to do this on everybody. Some people don't have a lot of cuticle, AKA me. Like, I don't know what it is. I, I just don't grow that much, um, but some people have a lot. So it's gonna be, you know, dependent on client to client if you wanna do this. Some people, it's really okay if you just sand it back like me, or if they get their nails done very frequently and they take care of them at home.
langsung sanggup. Ah, langsung langsung. I'm not gonna buff his nails, obviously. So I'm just scraping off any extra cuticle I see. Lightly buff the nail plate. That would take this off. So since I'm not doing that, that's why I'm doing this. While your clients washing their hands, okay. Fresh towel. I just fold it. Okay. So you can see how clean they look. So this is when you apply cuticle oil. Oh, if you see anything else, you know, once they wash their hands, just grab that. But yeah, as you can see, all is really clean. This is my preferred method of removing cuticle because I'm really fast at it. When it comes to um, like filing stuff down, I feel like it takes a little bit longer. So I prefer this. I know some schools, they teach you that this is wrong, but if you know where to cut, literally it's fine. And I mean, you know, yes, this seals out infections, but it just looks aesthetically pleasing and it makes your sets last longer because that's going to grow back. That little seal is going to form itself again. So as long as you put cuticle oil, it'll still look good while it's growing out. And I mean, as long as you wash your hands, you shouldn't get an infection. But yes, it just looks really clean. I think when you do this, um, and that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you dig the vibes. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>